Kaloso Risma, which means hi, you're welcome. This is Netcode Up channel. This channel we facilitate a lot of .NET projects and also lessons. Check our playlist, we have a lot of lessons and projects for .NET Mari, .NET Blazor, that is Blazor Server, and also Blazor WebAssembly. If today is the first time of watching the video or lesson from Netcode App, then you can just subscribe to this. As soon as I upload a new video, you have notification to watch it. This video or this lesson, we are going to talk about how to convert image in your application, that is a Mari app, from a normal image to base64 string, and also vice versa, from base64 string to normal image. Why do we have to convert image to base64 string? It's very easy for you to be able to store it in a database. When you have SQLite database in your application, you want the user to upload images. It could be um, e-commerce, it could be profile, that a person has to set an image or profile image. So when that image is selected or picked, you have to convert this into base 4 string so you can have access to and save it into the SQLite database. And in case you want to display the same image to, then you have to do it, you have to reconvert it from base 4 string to normal image for the user to see. So let's take a look on how to do that. Now I have some images. I'm going to copy these images here into the folder here. Now these are the images. So I'm going to grab these images from here. So with this, I'll just put them in the Solution Explorer. But before that, you have to create a new project. So I have the demo name as convert demo convert image to base default string vice versa. Now I know one thing is when I'm done with this project or this lesson, I'm gonna put it at the description. So go there, check the link over there. You're gonna have a GitHub link, click on it, and you can have access to the source code here. Maybe if you like to review it later. So let's go. So I'll go to my projects folder and that is a solution explorer. So views. Then in here, where we have the resources, where we have the raw folder, I'm going to paste this here. So I have these images. I can put them in the images folder as well. Okay. But since I'm going to convert this, I like to put them in the raw folder. So I have about, bookings, contact, and at home, four images here. Okay, now let's see. So save that. Now if I go to main page, the example file, this is a code behind file, and we have this. So maybe I would like us to use a scroll view for this. So maybe Instead of having this, let's use grid to design and output of this. So we have scroll view, then you can have vertical or grid view. So let's have row definition and it's going to be four. Let's make it as four or two. And I'm um, column definition is going to be also two as well because you want to have the label and so that's 30 star that's 70 star 30 to 70 so in this let's have the first one and that is a label so this label you want to set the test to image And you want to have the image icon. 
so that is the image and now let's see the source now let's set this as source so default you want to set this to maybe about dot p jpg so this is the default image that we are setting and let's go to the next so in here you want to set this as grid dot column one let's copy this you paste it here so instead of this image you want to use label instead so two labels and now this is basis default string and now with this maybe you like to set it so let's pass it as base 64 string and let's set this as grid dot rule so this is one and grid dot column one column one and here going to be grid dot rule one one okay now we have this done let's set their names so x name and now here it is base 64 string so base 64 string and now this is going to be the image so x name and now this will be the image okay so we have this image like this okay so we have this and now let's set a button so let's put button on top here so we have nice button so we can put this in a stack layout a vertical stack layout like this and now with this button you want to say that um, test x select image so x name btn select image let's have an event so let's generate a new event okay now let's go back to the cs and now let's clear this let's clear this as well okay so when this button is clicked what do you want to do we have the image set already so let's set this image here the first thing that we're going to do let's have using so you can have a variable here set as let's encode stream so encoded stream and now we can set this to await file system so the first thing to do is we are getting the the location of the file so file system dot open package file async and now here the first one that you're going to use here it is a about dot jpg so about the jp that is the file so we uh want to get access to the file so we pass in the file name and it's going to open the file package file system and and grab it for us aside from that let's have to create an instance of uh, memory stream so we save uh oh let's let's use using as soon as it finishes it, it closes it up for us so let's use stream or you can say m stream and this is equal to new memory stream okay so to do this here we are going to convert this image 
So let's set here. So converting to base 64 string. So we can set each M stream. So that is the the file, the location. You can set this to so copy to and now with this we can have access to this main stream aside from that let's now convert the image so we create the convert image is equal to then we're going to use the keyword as convert dot then to be 64 string and i'm going to pass in this memory stream dot to array and let's set base 64 string dot test so this is a label okay it's equal to this convert image let's run this and see so if i click on this whoa so the image is too big let's resize the image from this main page so what we have this label as image let's resize it so which request let's set to 100 and also height request let's set this to 100 so let's save that and now okay so we have the image over here but as you can see from the base 64 string it is not converted yet so if i click on this button you can see we have the image converted so that is a base 64 string image so you can see we have the the image here and there's a base 64 string now let's let's see we have four images here so this is what we're going to do let's add a model here so we can run through them quickly so let's add a class so add a new class and i'm going to say image model so images or image model and now with this image model this is public and let's have that is string and you can have just image name okay or we can have just name here now let's go to this list and now on top of this we want to create a list of this so let's have list of image model then you can say images so it's equal to new list of image model. Now with this, we are going to populate this image. So we say image images dot add. Then we are going to add this. So we say new image new image model and now you pass in the name is that that is about dot jpg so let's make a copy of this and i add few ones so we can just make a copy of this and we have four images okay so we have this now the first one we have about the jpg we have bookings or jpg so let's check that so bookings or jpg and we have contact and home.png so contact and home and the extension here it is png okay so we now have the list here now what you're going to do here is to join the conversion you are going to cut this i'm going to use for each and you say var image in images you want to specify this so instead of passing in the name here explicit let's pass in this image this image is a string and i'm just going to hold so after doing this you want to delay so let's say tax let's use an await and now let's delay for some time 
before we display the next one. So let's use three seconds. That is 3000. And now let's run this. So let's see. So it is saying that image cannot be used, cannot convert string to. So let's see what we can do from here. Let's pass this to dot two string. Save that. And now let's um, refresh the app. So let's go to the main page. Now where we have this, we want to at least 70, 30, that is the image. And let's increase the size of the image to maybe 200. And that is a 200. Okay. So this button, you want to say start converting. So start converting. All right. Now let's refresh this app. So now let's click on this button, start converting. As soon as I click on this, we have an exception. The system cannot find the file specified. And let's see. So we have the object. Okay, so we have to specify. Let's see. So that is the image dot name instead. Okay. Now let's go to, so let's edit this. And now let's go to, so let's stop this and see. So we have to clear one. Okay, problem solved. Now let's in our page, the width here, let's put it to the center. So we set width to maybe 100. And now let's set vertical to center. And now horizontal to center. Okay, let's run this again. So you can see, let's increase the weight of this to, let's say 200. Okay. So as soon as I click on start converting, let's you can see we have the first image. It's going to wait for 30 seconds and let's say it has to change to get the next image. So you can see that it is changing over here, but the image here, it is not changing. So let's have a look at it. Let's see. So let's go to, you can just stop this. And here, after setting up the text to this, we want to set the image as well. Okay. So with this base default string, we can also say image label dot source. So it's equal to so image dot name. Now let's run this. So let's start converting. So this is the first image. Three seconds, second image, that is a base default string. Third image, and that is it. And now the last one is the fourth image, so that is it. So we are looping through the images to generate the base default string. Now the next thing I want to talk about here is how do you convert this string into the same image? So down here, let's see. Now this page, main page of example, after the button, we want to have the image converted. So let's have this, an image tag. So this has to come after this image. And now with this, you want to have margin of 20 
and let's set the x name of this as image from base. So with this, we can set this to, let's say vertical option as center and horizontal to center. Let's save that. So let's copy this image from base name and now let's go to our page. So here we are going to convert this. So after converting this, setting up the name here, we want to now converting from base 64 string. So converting image from base 64 string. So the image that we have here, the string that we have here, we are now going to also convert it back to image. So how are we going to do that? Let's create the image byte size. And let's set this byte size to convert dot. And here we're going to use from base 64 string. And now we're going to pass in this convert image. So whilst we have this, we can now copy set memory stream and we can say this memory stream is equal to new then memory stream. Okay. Or instead of creating this memory stream, we can just do something like so var this memory stream is equal to new memory stream and now here we can pass in whatever that you want to pass in also we can decide to set it as as we have this memory stream then equal to we have this object here and now we can pass in instead of this we can say this shortcut this as new and we can just copy this image and paste it in so image size okay now let's set this image from base dot source so we set this to let's convert to image source so image source dot from stream then here we are calling a method so we are using a pointer here and we are pointing it to this memory stream. So let's copy this and I'll paste it here. And that is all. After that, tax will delay for three seconds, then it should move on to the next one. Let's run this. All right, so our page is now loaded. Let me just make it small. Now, I just made some modifications here and I just set a two bar item and I'll put it over here. So convert, you have this button. I'll put this code at the uh, this, uh, GitHub. So check the description and you have the link for this. So click on this convert. Now you can see we have the image. This is to base default string and that is from base default string. So this is the image that we have here and it is converting it to this base default string. And now this is the first string also reconverting back to image and that's why we have this so you can see we can perform 64 string image from image and to the same image as well okay now we have this let's run this um in android emulator and let's see if also going to work or if android is to support this so I'm, i'll close this So let's click on the button and that's the two bar button over here in the Android uh, device. So I'll click on this and now let's see. So you can see we have the image here and that is also the image here is around this area. Let's format this well. So instead of having this spacing or margin of 100, you can have margin of 10. So I can do something like this. And I will save that. Okay, so let's...
restart this again and see the correct view for this. So I'll click on the button again. And now you can see we have from the before image here and it keeps converting. So let's do it again. All right, so you can see we have been able to do that and do it both in the Android and also on Windows. That is it for this video. I'll put this in the GitHub and I'll put the link in the description to just go in there and get this source code and view them as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please sub subscribe to the channel and also give me a thumbs up. As soon as I upload a new, you have the notification to watch it. Thank you. Take care of yourself. And I'm going to catch you up in the next video.